Hello all and welcome to tonight's Torah portion. Before I get started, I'm going to say a blessing. Blessed art thou, Adonai Elohim, your king of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments and commanded us to engross ourselves with the words of Torah. Please, Adonai Elohim, you sweeten the words of your Torah in our mouths and the mouths of all your people Israel. May we in our offspring, the offspring of your people, the house of Israel. May we all together know your name and study your Torah for the sake of fulfilling your desire. Blessed are you, Adonai, who teaches Torah to his people Israel. Blessed are you, Adonai, Elihim, king of the universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Blessed are you, Adonai, give her the Torah. May Adonai bless you and keep watch over you. May Adonai make his presence to remind you may be kind to you. May Adonai bless so favor on you and grant you peace. Today's read is 1 Kings 18, 1 through 39. After many days, the word of Yahweh came to Elijah in the third year, saying, Go, show yourself to Ahab. And I will send rain upon the earth. So Elijah went to show himself to Ahab. Now the famine was severe in Samaria. And Ahab called Abadiah, who was over the household. Now Abadiah feared Yahweh greatly. And when Jezebel cut off the prophets of Yahweh, Abadiah took a hundred prophets and hid them by fifties in a cave and fed them with bread and water. And Ahab said to Abadiah, Go through the land to the springs of water and to the, all the valleys. Perhaps we may find grass and save the horses and mules alive, alive and not lose some of the animals. So they divided the land between them to pass through it. Ahab went in one direction by himself, and Abadiah went in the other direction by himself. Abadiah was on the way, and behold, Elijah met him, and Abadiah recognized him. And fell on his face and said, It is you, my lord, Elijah. And he answered him, It is I. Go tell your lord, Behold, Elijah is here. And he said, How have I sinned that you would give your servants into the hand of Ahab to kill me? And as Yahweh your Elohim lives, there is no nation or kingdom where my lord has not sent to seek you. And when they would say, He is not here, he would take an oath of the kingdom or nation. That they had not found you, and now you say, Go, tell your Lord, Behold, Elisha is here. And as soon as I have gone from you, the Spirit of Yahweh will carry you, I know not where. And so, when I come to tell Ahab, and he cannot find you, he will kill me, although your servant have feared Yahweh from my youth. Has it not been told, my Lord, what I did when Jezebel killed the prophet of Yahweh? Now I hid a hundred men, how I hid a hundred men, of Yahweh's prophets, by fifties in a cave, and fed them with bread and water. Now you say, Go, tell your Lord, behold, Elisha is here, and he will kill me. <coughs> and now you say, I'm sorry. And Elijah said, As Yahweh of hosts lives before whom I stand, I will surely show myself to him today. So Abadiah went to me, meet Ahab, and told him, and Ahab to meet Elijah. And when Ahab saw Elijah, Ahab said to him, It is, is it you, you troubler of Israel? And he answered, I have not troubled Israel, but you have in your father's house, because you have abandoned the commandments of Yahweh and have followed the Baals. Now therefore send a, and gather all Israel to meet at Mount Carmel. And the 450 prophets of Baal, and the 400 prophets of Asherah, who eat at Jezebel's table. So I have sent to all the people of Israel, and gathered the prophets together on Mount Car Carmel. And Elijah came near to all the people, and said, How long will you go limping between two different opinions? If Yahweh is Elohim, follow him, but if Baal, then follow him. And the people did not answer him a word. Then Elijah said to the people, I even, I only, am left a prophet of Yahweh, but Baal's prophets are 450 men. Let two, let two bulls give to us, and let them choose one bull for themselves, and cut it into pieces, and lay it on the wood, but put no fire to it. And I will prepare the other bull, and lay it on top of the wood, and put no fire to it. And you can call upon the name of your God, and I will call upon the name of Yahweh. And Elohim who answers by fire, he is Elohim. And all the people answered it is well spoken. Then Elijah said to the prophets of Baal, Choose for yourself one bull and prepare it first. For you are many. 
and call upon the name of your God, but put no fire to it. And they took the bull that was given, and they prepared it, and called upon the name of Baal from morning until noon, saying, O Baal, answer us. And there was no voice, no answer. And no one answered. And they limped around the altar that they had made. And at noon Elijah mocked them, saying, Cry aloud, for is a God. Either he is musing, or he is revealing himself, or he is on a journey. Or perhaps he's asleep and must be awakened. And they cried aloud and cut themselves after their custom with swords and lances until the blood gushed out upon them. And as midday passed, they raved on until the time of offering of the oblation. And there was no voice. No one answered and no one paid attention. And then Elijah said to the people, Come near to me. And all the people came near to him and he repaired the altar of Yahweh that had been thrown down in. Elijah took twelve stones according to the number of the tribes of the sons of Jacob, to whom the word of Yahweh came, saying, Israel shall be your name. And with the stones he built an altar in the name of Yahweh, and he made a trench around the altar, as great as would contain two saves of seed. And he put the wood in the altar, and cut the bull into pieces, and laid it on the wood. And he said, Fill four jars with water, and pour it on the burnt offering, and on the wood. And he said, Do it a second time. And they did it a second time. And he said, Do it a third time. They did it a third time, and the water ran around the altar and filled the trench also with water. And at that time, sorry, and at the time of the offering of the oblation, Elisha the prophet came there and said, O Lord Elohim of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, let it be known this day that you are Elohim and Israel, and that I am your servant, and that I have done all these things at your word. Answer me, O Lord, An answer me, that, that this people may know that you are, O Lord, or Elohim, and that you have turned their backs, and that you have turned their hearts back. Sorry. Then the fire of Yahweh fell and consumed the burnt offering and the wood and all the stones and the dust and licked up the water that was in the trench. And when all the people saw it, they fell on their faces and said, Yahweh, he is Elohim. Yahweh, he is Elohim. Blessed art thou, Lord our God, or Adonai Elohim, King of the universe, who gives the Torah of truth instead of everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, Adonai, giver of the Torah, Bukata Adonai Elohim, Balach Kalom, Asher Nata, Nur Tereti Met Vaishi Alom, Nata Betti Kinyu Bukata Adonai Tina Torah.